Did you know there are some ways that people are wasting money on a cruise that they aren't even aware of? And by just changing one or two things, they can save so much money, maybe even hundreds of dollars on a cruise. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lightballcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, a few months ago, I did a video all about things that are maybe overpriced on a cruise and really could be considered a bit of a waste of money. And of course, everybody has their own opinion on that. Some people really disagreed with me. Other people agreed with me. I'm gonna leave that video at the end of this one in case you didn't see it. You'll probably want to check that out. However, what I am doing in this video is a little bit of a follow-up, but these are the things that are maybe a little bit not obvious, but that I think really are a waste of money on a cruise, at least on the most part. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention two things. Firstly, if you don't agree with me, that is absolutely okay. Please leave me your comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And secondly, if you do enjoy this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started. Number one, I'm gonna start off with something that could be small, but it could really add up. And I think a lot of us just aren't even aware of this. And this is double tipping on a cruise. Now I'm not mentioning not to tip on a cruise or not to pay your gratuities, not at all. But what I am talking about is when you do buy a drink um, at the bar, there will already be a service charge on that drink. And usually it's 18 to 20%. When you go to the spa and you get a service, there will already be a service charge of again 18 to 20 percent and a lot of people just aren't aware of it and they double tip on that service now there's nothing wrong with double tipping if that's what you want to do if you want to give 30 percent 40 percent or more be my guest however if you're not aware of it this can be a way that you're really wasting money on a cruise number two buying drink packages on the cruise ship. Now I'm not saying not to buy drink packages. That's a matter of whether or not that has value for you or not. And you can calculate this. But what I am talking about is buying the drink packages on the cruise ship rather than buying them before you get on your cruise ship. Now, most of the time with most cruise lines, it's going to be less expensive if you buy your drink package before your cruise. And you could buy that online on your cruise planner or your cruise personalizer. Now, something to really watch out for is watch out for any of the different sales. Many cruise lines do have sales and oftentimes you could just take a look on your cruise planner or you should also watch your emails. When they say that there's 20% off the drink package, it really is 20% off the drink package and it will be that higher price when you get on the cruise ship. Now, often this is the same thing when it comes to other packages like dining and Wi-Fi and even shore excursions. So you're not gonna find it cheaper on the cruise ship. So you may as well book these kind of packages ahead of time on your cruise planner online and not on the cruise ship. Number three, not putting your phone in airplane mode on a cruise. Now this is a mistake that many people say that they've unfortunately made on past cruises, especially if it was their first cruise and they just didn't realize this. So of course your cell phone plan doesn't work the same when you are at sea in international waters. So you do wanna make sure that you do buy maybe the Wi-Fi plan that you do turn your phone on airplane mode. You look into options with your cell phone provider, but definitely do not keep your phone on when you are on a cruise. Make sure that it is turned to airplane mode because it can cost you hundreds and even thousands of dollars. Number four, spa upsells. Now, a lot of people said that they really do love the spa. So even if this can be more expensive than a spa that you might go to on land, a lot of people said this is kind of a little bit of a splurge or a treat that they definitely do enjoy. However, universally, what people said they do not like on cruise ships is the upsells on products when you do go to the spa. So be prepared for that. They are gonna offer you different sorts of products for your skin, etc. You might even wanna let let them know before they start the massage that you are really not interested in any upsells and you're just there for the massage and you'd like to enjoy it. Now, please let me know if you've ever experienced this on a cruise and how you deal with it. Please let me know in the comments below. Number five, 
free seminars. Now, oftentimes these free seminars are available maybe in the fitness center or in the spa. And oftentimes what people say is that after about an hour of time, that there's basically a sales pitch towards products and expensive services on a cruise ship. And sometimes they've spent a lot of money that they maybe just didn't feel that they were really expecting when they did go to that free seminar. Now, personally, I haven't gone to any of these seminars. I really feel like beyond the fact that it might be a waste of money, that it is a bit of a waste of my time. However, if you've gone and you've had a good experience, can you please let me know? I am curious. Number six, forgetting to bring some of the basic items that you're going to need for a cruise. Now, oftentimes people say that the things that they might have forgotten to bring on a cruise were sunscreen or lip balm or maybe pain reliever, cold medicine, dental floss, so just really a lot of the basics. And oftentimes the markup is two to three times the price on the cruise ship in the boutique than it is if you would simply bring these things from home. Now, as I mentioned before, I am an overpacker, but I really do pride myself on bringing pretty much everything that I need, especially any pharmaceutical products and any toiletries, because I know that they're expensive and they're also a little bit hard to get sometimes on a cruise ship. Now, I do keep all of this on a cruise packing list that I do really prepare in advance so I make sure I have everything that I need for a cruise. Now I do have the Ultimate Cruise Planner. This is a 47 page printable downloadable cruise planner that includes everything that you might need to plan your cruise. So it includes of course cruise packing lists for your toiletries and more but it also does include everything that you would need from the beginning point when you book your cruise to keeping track of your shore excursions to what you need to know before you disembark and more. If you are interested in the information about the Ultimate Cruise Planner, I am going to leave it down below in the description of this video. Number seven, a lot of cruisers waste money by eating or drinking at certain restaurants and bars off the cruise ship. Now hear me out. What I mean is not to not drink and not eat when you're off the cruise ship. That's not what I mean at all. Because honestly, in some places, the food and the drinks are really a big part of the destination itself. I definitely felt that way in Europe and I even do feel that way. Sometimes I go to a cruise port in the Caribbean and I definitely, or in Bermuda, I definitely have a rum swizzle when I'm there um, and other food. So there's nothing wrong with doing that. But what I'm talking about is eating and drinking at restaurants and bars that are really in the most touristy areas. And obviously cruisers are not only guilty of this, this happens to tourists in general. And in many destinations, including the cruise port, if you walk one block or two blocks away, you are going to find the same meal or better for probably 30 to 50% less. So if you wanna save money when you're on a cruise, then definitely walk a little bit further from the main tourist area to eat or drink. Now, if you have any tips as to how to save money when you are in a cruise port, but also still be safe, please leave that down in the comments below this video. Number nine, the casino. Yes, a lot of people say that the casino is a waste of money. A lot of people also enjoy it, so that is completely up to you. I have to say I'm not a big casino player. I often wish I was because people have so much fun with it, but I also know a lot of people say that they have actually lost a lot of money in the cruise ship casino, and it's not necessarily very favorable to cruisers. Number 10, not bringing wine and other drinks on board. Now, of course, if you have a beverage package, you probably don't need to do so. You will have wine, you will have drinks, you're gonna have water on your cruise ship. However, many cruise lines do allow you to bring a bottle of wine per person on board or two bottles per cabin, depending on the cruise line. A lot of cruise lines will allow you to bring, um, you know, a case or two of soda on board and even water bottles. And honestly, these things really do add up on a cruise. And if you're not a big drinker enough to buy the beverage package to make it worth it, definitely something that you should do is take a look at the cruise line policy and bring those items onto a cruise ship. It really can save you a lot of money. Now I'm gonna leave the information about the Ultimate Cruise Planner right below this video. This is a downloadable printable cruise planner that you can print off as many pages as you need and of course for as many cruises as you do go on. So I will leave the information for you 
in the description below this video in case you're interested in checking that out. Now, I'd love to hear from you. How have you maybe wasted money on a cruise in the past or ways that you think other people waste money on a cruise or even ways that you think cruise lines are maybe overcharging for things on a cruise? Please let me know down in the comments below and I am gonna leave a video right after this one. That is the video all about the 13 things that are sort of a waste of money or even overpriced on a cruise that you may want to check out next. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.